Hello, this is Todd Money and Webb Anholtz. We're with Landmark Implement. So we have a front and a rear bin, bin one and bin two. This is a 300 cubic foot box, but the neat thing is that we can adjust the size of the second bin. With the gate forward, it's about a 50-50 split on size. And if we flip her backwards, more of a 60-40 split on the bins, but if you're chaining them together, you can still run them as one. But if you're putting on more pounds of one product than the other, this is an option we have. And there's nothing really secret about it. It's just flipping the stainless steel arm. The flipper moves. Now it's back to 50 feet. Even 150 cubic foot a piece for capacity. Now that's going to depend on how much the density your product is versus um, how much tonnage can put in there. Heavier products like 60 pound potash and MAP or phosphorus are going to weigh more than 50 pound urea so you'll be able to put more tonnage in of the heavier product. A 20 cubic foot micro bin and you can see down at the bottom the yellow rollers that's what I was talking about on the maintenance video is we got to make sure there's no product bridge there uh, and the product is flowing but it's a, only a 40 cubic foot micro bin. So on a 100 pound zinc product is uh, 4,000 pounds or 2 tons in the micro bin. So we have the safety rails up so if you were loading off on one side push them forward and down and now they become your uh, bows for your tarp and then we'll get down and fold the other one and show you how that looks. So with both of them down that becomes the tarp bows so it's kind of a dual purpose but it is a great safety feature when you're up here 10 feet off the ground. Another safety feature is these handrails to get up the ladder you easily come down by pivot them and they come down for the running position. You know, be careful that you don't have these up when you're going down the road. The other safety feature is this has a proximity switch for the ladder. So if this ladder down, it will not allow us to roll the tarp until this is put up into the lock position. You just move it up. It's locked. The sensor satisfied, now we can bring the tarp over. 